Yeah, so I'm a secondary school pupil. I'm 15 and I'm in year 10. And someone mentioned Teach Me to me and they went, oh, you've done it before. How about you come along this time? Um, it's a gaming edition. Do you do re really do um, what games you do in the classroom? You should talk about that. I sat there and thought point blank. I don't really do gaming in the classroom. It's not a really secondary school kind of thing. And then I thought, wait, it really should be a secondary school kind of thing. So also that's the Twitter, even though I don't really use it much. Yeah. It's, it's mainly, has just gone shopping, you know, the usual teenage thing. But yeah. When people talk about, I've heard a lot about gaming. I mean, I've used software from things like Too Simple in the past. And it's really good. I mean, it's amazing. But you get to secondary school and it's just, right, do this, do the homework. And then at the end of the term, we'll play a few quizzes. It's, it's not really gaming used much in the sort of like curriculum. I mean, in primary school, oh, gaming, it was top of the league. I mean, you had Zumbinis, which was the logical journey where you design little characters and you learn so much by having to go through all these paths and really mess with your head. And then you had the map detectives, which taught you how to use OS maps and the tube. And after playing it for a few months, I went to London with my mum, my dad, and my sister. And my mum was like, oh, and we're going here. I went, yep, I led the whole family on the way to the Palladium and back home just by, well, using a piece of software for only a few months. So it does teach you some good life skills. But this is the kind of thing that we do in our ICT lessons. We do a topic. We've been studying spreadsheets for a few boring months. And at the end, the end of this, the teacher's like, we're going to have a fun day. We're we'll sitting in the class like, fun? Yes, what we did. Right, go on to teach ICT. Oh, no. This is what we have to do. This is the, and this is the creme de la creme of our ICT lessons. Right, so we are 15, and this, well, 14 at the time, well, this is the key stage three. And this is what we have to do. You direct a little fox catch pieces of fruit. Oh, the suspense is killing me. I mean, oh! And then, a question. Use this kit to calculate. Now, seriously, this is just too high for my intellectual ability. I'm not sure if I can manage this. Yes! And then, again, and it's this, this painful, repetitive cycle for an hour. And it's about this point that everyone sort of exits the game and goes, watch it on TV last night. Oh, yeah, watch this. It was quite interesting. And they just spend the rest of the, get the lesson having a conversation and not actually doing anything. So have a look at another one. This is where the website tries to be nice and funny. Play with the kids' humor. How you don't like your teachers. So let's mock them. OK. So a spreadsheet mainly contains, hmm, let's go for cells. Oh. Oh, amazing animation. Did you see that there? Just a little. Right, spreadsheets use these to make calculation. Hmm, I guess that, that's what I'd do, but formula. Ooh, the next one, oh, as I said, these are suspense games, seriously. Forget COD, forget anything like that. Forget the Wii. You don't need that when you've got this website. It's, oh. Money should be formatted as what? Hmm, currency? I mean, 14 year old people sitting there going, I don't know the answer. I don't think that's actually going to happen. OK, question four, halfway through. Can we do this, guys? Come on. If you wish to draw attention to a cell, which of these would you not use? Anybody care to help me answer? Can you see that from there? See. OK. Let's see whether your intelligence is as good as mine. Oh, well done to whoever said that. Next question, Con. Oh, fun times. This, the sort of person who uses a spreadsheet in their everyday job. Hmm, a fisherman. I think not. Oh, how many places are we going to catch today? Yeah. Okay, so the next one. Oh, look at the poor teacher. I mean, he's dressed so modernly with such style. I mean, I've ne I haven't seen, I've never seen anybody wear a mortarboard in my life. You would use a spreadsheet for. Well, come on, anybody got an answer to this? And then this is the point. I don't think I'd ever, I've ever got this far on the game before. I mean, seriously, the boredom you get when you reach question two, where it's like, finish the sentence, 
You use AF formula. Okay, right. Then you switch the iPod on, you start having a conversation as my ICT teacher yells at you, but it's not really much learning. The spreadsheet page you used to, you work on is called a... Anybody? Oh, teetering on the edge of that very realistic <laughs> wooden pole. And it looks like something out of Macbeth. Across Team Macbeth and Mastermind. So I'll reference anyone? Have fun. I, I'll just do it myself. Oh. Yeah, no, the last question. I've watched the animation on this. Which of these is the correct formula to divide nine by three? Anybody care to tell me? You need the equal sign. Oh. That animation deserves a round of applause. So you see, people in primary school, you have you have too simple where you just create colourful stuff. You have things like the old virtual stuff I used to play, which is now out of date, but stuff like well, Zumbini's magical journeys and detectives. And then you get a bit older and you're expected to dunk a teacher that's looked as if it's been made out of paint in a teacher's 30 second break or having a cup of coffee, just thinking, oh, this will pass the lesson. So the proposition I have for you is is there any sort of better gaming out there for people of my age in Key Stage 3 and Key Stage 4? I mean, I know primary school and everything, they, they are the people who you think, oh, gaming, it will really help them learn, they want to learn. Secondary school, we need the appeal as well. We're doing coursework and homework and our GCSEs. I'm sure a bit of fun can't hurt. And also, if it's beneficial to our learning, then it's even better, isn't it? That's generally what I have to say. <laughs> Thank you.